Hey, how's it going, Matt Three? Um, I wanted to go over a couple of um, common challenges in this match my parabola activity. Uh, going through a lot of the answers from you guys, I noticed that challenge two, three, and six were the ones that um, were commonly missed. And so I want to kind of look uh, at each of those and hopefully um, unlock a little bit of um, how to do those for you. All right, well, challenge number two is pretty much taking this and shifting it up, down, left, and right. And so if I look at uh, this parent function of a parabola, um, and let me go ahead and let me duplicate it, because what I want to do is change one thing. And so I'm going to make this um, red. And so when I change it, you'll see um, it, a different color. So if I put plus one, notice that the parent function, which was just y equals x squared, the vertex is at zero, zero. But this new function here, y equals x squared plus one, the vertex is at positive one. So by adding a number, or what if I subtracted it? So that moved it down one from the parent function. So whenever you have a y equals x squared, if you add or subtract a number after it, that's basically moving it up or down. So I'm going to go ahead and do this blue one. This blue one, it looks like it's moving it up. And the vertex, instead of 0, 0, the vertex is at 1, 2, 3. So I believe I'm going to move it up 3. In order to get the, uh, the little 2, I'm going to hit Shift 6, and that'll give me my exponent of a 2. But then I'm going to have to, um, if I type anything else after that, um, it's going to be an exponent. Well, let me put the plus. So I guess it already uh, got out of the exponent position and it went down here. But if you ever wanted to go down from an exponent, you could use the right arrow key. But uh, yeah, if I make it, I mean, I can mess with numbers. If I put plus one, um, let me go down here and check. So that not, not quite. But we knew that counting, it would go up to 3. So I'm going to make this uh, plus 3. And I'm going to submit it, and that should be good. All right. So I'm going to let you guys do the down uh, when you take this problem and move it down. But then when you move it right and left, well, that's basically going to have to be somewhere else besides um, after. And um, when you're looking at the... Um, when you're looking at this one here, let me give you the, let me give you this one. This is the vertex form um, of the, of a parabola. And so um, notice that K is outside of the parentheses and that's what moved it up or down. So you can see that this parabola goes up or down. But if I get rid of that, let me get rid of A too. And all I have is y equals x, x minus h in parentheses squared. Notice that when I change h, um, which is the number inside the parentheses, um, it moves right or left. So instead of h, let me put a number. Let me put minus 1. Um, so if I have, I'm going to give you the parent function again, y equals x squared. All right, and let me make that black. So this is just an unchanged um, parabola, the parent function. OK, and, um, and then I take this and I subtract one. It actually went to the right one. What if I added one? It actually would go to the left one. So that whatever you add or subtract in the parentheses um, where the x is, is going to go uh, right or left, which is but the opposite sign. So let's. I'm going to do the green one. So if I want to move from this parent function to the right, the vertex would go from 0 to 4. So that means on the green one, I want it to move to the right 4. So I'm going to, again, in order to move it um, to the right or to the left, I need to add these parentheses and then put the square. And so because I want it to go to the right one, I'm going to subtract. And if I subtract 3, let's see what happens. Not far enough. Uh, we knew that the vertex would be at 4, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that four. All right, perfect. And so I'm going to leave the other two up to you guys uh, to to get these two. It's, you're going to follow the similar pattern as this one. All right, now challenge five. This is a different type of uh, transformation, and what you're going to end up doing 
Um, again, if I look at this vertex form, um, we've already explored with challenge two, moving it up or down, which is the K. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that. We're not focusing on K anymore. Um, and then we already focused on moving it right or left, which is H, which is in the parentheses. So we're not looking at that anymore. And so the only other thing we could do is change the A. The A moves it wide, narrow, upside down. And so um, that is going to be our uh, the number in front of the, the X squared. And because we don't have uh, moving it right or left, we don't really need these parentheses anymore. And so instead of um, getting, an, uh, I'm just going to make it uh, a 1, which is a ninja 1, because if you see Y equals X squared, there's actually a ninja 1 right there. And that's our parent function. So let me go ahead and uh, give another one y equals x squared and let me put a number in front so if i put a number like two in the front it's going to make it more narrow than the parent function was notice the vertex stays the same um, if i want to make it uh, uh, wider i'm going to have to make it less than one like 0.90 like 90 cents notice it went a little bit wider 80 cents uh, let's say 30 cents you know so uh, you, you could put the zero two you can even uh, put a uh, four cents if you want to make it really, really wider. Um, you could even add another zero to make it even more wider. You can see that it kind of is getting, uh, it's, it's so wide it looks like it's it's flat, but it's not. But yeah, the closer you get to zero, the wider it's gonna be. So that's gonna be uh, important for you to unlock a lot of those um, problems that you just can't get the accuracy with just um, one decimal place. You might need two or three. But anyway, let's look at this. Um, so if we're looking at the blue one, it says right here, you need it has to pass through the origin. It says each parabola should pass through the origin, which means that the vertex will be on the origin. So we're not going to we're not going to move it left and right, up and down like the last challenge. We're just going to leave it y equals x squared and we're going to add a number in front. Well, because uh, this this red one has a three in front, this blue one needs to be wider than that. So maybe it could be a two. The smaller the number is, the wider it gets. So let's see if that works out. If I check the y equals 2x squared, nope, not wide enough. Okay, so how about if I make it a 1? Let's see. A little bit wider, but not, not good enough. Okay, less than 1. Now we're going into decimals. Let's, let's try 0.5. Okay, getting closer. What if I went all the way to 0.1? Okay, a little bit too wide. How about 0.2? Nice. Okay, so all these are going to be the same way. You're just going to change the number in front. Um, these are negative, so because they're going down, make, make sure the vertex is going to be here going down. Um, and so that's, that's what you're going to do is change the number in front. Okay, and the last challenge was... Let's see, I wanted to go over two, three, and six. So let's look at challenge six. Okay, now this one, I noticed a lot of the answers, um, a lot of uh, students chose to make this the vertex, but you'll see that making this the vertex would um, not allow you to, to get this third point. Um, you either get the vertex here and make it wide to get to this point, but it will miss this one, or you'll get the vertex here and get this point, but then miss this one. And so what I would recommend is looking at these two, um, these two points here and, and realizing that a parabola is perfectly symmetrical. So these are going to be the equal uh, spaces apart um, in terms of symmetry. And so if you look at the point right in the middle, um, that would be negative 2. So the vertex would be at, uh, this line of symmetry would be right here at negative 2. And I don't know how high or low it would be, but we can at least put that y equals. And because the vertex is at negative 2, I'm going to put x plus 2 squared. And just to see what it looks like, that's what it's going to look like. Well, it's got to go uh, upside down, so I'm going to make it negative to look better. Okay. Now we got to make it go higher because we want it to go through these points. So let me make it go up. Five, let's see all right now maybe it could be like that but maybe it just needs to be wider so let's see 0 
Okay, that's getting closer. That's good. So what I would recommend, um, what you're going to need to do here is use two decimal places. So um, I'm going to make, I'm going to start you off at negative uh, 0.25. And this would get you on the right track because then all you'd need to do, we already know that the line of the symmetry is at x equals negative 2. So this is going to, this will be unchanged. You won't change this at all. But what you will have to do is change the um, number. This plus 5 is going to be different. And this uh, negative 0 0.25 is going to be different as well. You're going to have to kind of adjust it by making it go through each of these points and you'll you'll notice you know it is a challenge um and so you, you'll have to kind of when you change one you have to change the other and so um yeah it'll take some time this uh, whole activity you know i'm sure took quite some time and some of you are still not done but um i wanted to kind of give you these three um insights in these three challenge problems um, to help you be able to um, get the points for this assignment. Okay, well, um, if you guys have any questions, you know, just feel free to. Um, I kind of left it up to you guys to to do it, but then I was grading them, and I noticed a lot of them were not um, complete, but you guys turned it in. So just make sure that you don't turn things in until um, everything is complete and you don't have any questions um, because, you know, I definitely don't want you guys to um, feel like you know you're just being overlooked and that you're not getting the help that you need because that that's what I'm here for I'm still here for you guys and I care about you and yeah I miss you and and I do have high standards still just like I did before um, and now it's just taking me a little bit longer to kind of click through these answers but notice just keep in mind that I am clicking through all of them to make sure you know you are getting the things that I feel are important and so um, yeah just let me know if you want me to do another video or um, a specific one. Just, you know, send me a comment and I'll be able to reply to it. Um, all right, you guys. Have a great weekend.